This video will look at acid nomenclature or how we name acids. Before we can start naming acids, we need to ask the question, what is an acid? For our purposes right now, we're just going to talk about acids very simply. Um, in our, for our purposes now, we just think, need to think of a solution, which is something dissolved in water, that contains the hydrogen cation, H+, and an anion. To recognize a formula as an acid, it has to have a hydrogen at the beginning of the formula. As the name, acids always have acid in the name, and so you'll know it's an acid just based on the word being in the name. So there are two types of acids, so we need to know what are those two types. The first type we have are binary acids, and we also have oxy acids. And this is the way we tell the difference. Binary acids is H plus and an anion that ends in IDE. Normally it's going to be monatomic, something straight from the periodic table, a nonmetal, and when we change those nonmetals to anions, we put the IDE ending on it. So fluorine off the per periodic table becomes fluoride, chlorine becomes chloride, etc. Or it can also be a polyatomic anion that has an IDE, IDE ending like cyanide. So some examples, we have HCl, H2S, and HCN. And we'll look at why those formulas are the way they are and how we name those in a little bit. For oxy acids, it's H plus and also an anion, but this time the anion ends in eight or ite. It's going to be a polyatomic ion always, and it's typically going to contain oxygen. There are some instances where it doesn't contain oxygen, and again, it's going to be with that cyanide molecule. When it's just CN, it's cyanide. When it has a sulfur at the beginning, it's thiocyanate. So thiocyanate with the SCN is actually going to be named as an oxy acid, but most others contain oxygen. Some examples, we have HClO, H2SO4, and then we have that cyanate um, ion, we get HSCN. And we'll look at how to name these in a little bit. So naming, for binary acids, we use the prefix hydro. Then we take the anion name, we replace the IDE ending with IC, and put acid at the end. So some examples, HCl, we're going to start with hydro, then we're going to change IDE to IC, so it was chloride, now it has to be chloric, so hydrochloric acid at the end. And we know this is binary because it's hydrogen and one other molecule, it is not a polyatomic ion involved, so it can't be eight or right. So we get hydrochloric acid. H2S, the H tells us it's an acid. Being that there's only one other atom with the hydrogen, it has to be a binary acid. So we start with hydro. Sulfide becomes sulfic, or in the case of sulfur, we add the UR back in there, so we get sulfuric acid. So hydrosulfuric acid. And HCN, again, this is the one ex example where we get a polyatomic ion in here. Cyanide, the ID gets to ic, so we get hydrocyanic acid. Oxy acids do not use the prefix hydro. Even though there's still hydrogen in it, the acid part at the end tells us there's hydrogen in it. The prefix just tells us if it's binary or not. In this case, oxy acids are not binary, so we don't use that prefix. We take the anion name, and before we changed I to ic, we need some rule for eight and night. Eight becomes ic, just like eid became ic, and it becomes ous, us. And we add acid at the end. So examples, HClO2, we look up the polyatomic ion, ClO2, and find it's chlorite. So this is going to be chlorus acid, no hydro, because it's polyatomic oxy acid. HClO3, ClO3 is the chlorate anion, so it's going to be chloric acid. H2SO4, we have the sulfate anion, so we're going to have sulfuric acid. Again, sulfur puts the UR back in, so we get sulfuric acid. And finally, HSCN, SCN is thiocyanate, eight becomes ic, we get thiocyanic acid. Now we're going to go the other way. 
we're going to start with names and get formulas. For binary acids, we know it's a binary acid because the name has hydro in it. So we write H plus and the element, or in the case of cyanide, the polyatomic ion whose stem is in the name. Once we find that, we get the charge of that element or that ion based on that ID ending ion. We balance the charges of H plus and the anion like an ionic compound and we write our final formula. So some examples, hydrochloric acid, hydro tells me that I'm looking at an ID ending, so I'm looking for the chloride anion. Acid tells me there's H plus. So I do H plus chloride is just chlorine with a charge. It's in group seven, so it has a minus one charge. When I balance these, I need, I need one of each to have a balanced molecule. I get HCl for my answer. Hydrosulfuric acid, I do the same thing. Hydro tells me it's an IDE, so I'm looking for sulfide. Acid tells me there's H+. Plus. I do H+, plus, sulfide is S, and the charge of sulfur is 2 minus, based on the periodic table. I need to balance the charges. Since I have two negative charges, I need two positive charges, which means I need two hydrogens. I get H2S for my answer. And finally, hydrocyanic acid. Hydro tells me I'm looking for an IDE ion ion, so I have cyanide. Acid tells me there's H+. I put H+, the cyanide anion is Cn minus 1. They're 1 to 1, 1 plus, 1 minus, we just get HCN. Now we're going to move on to oxyacids. Oxyacids does not have hydro in the name, that's how you can identify an oxyacid by the name. We write H plus again, and we find the polyatomic ion. Now for the polyatomic ion, we change the ic in the acid name to 8 to make sure we're looking at the right anion. We change us back to ite. Then we balance the charges just like we did last time and write the final formula. So we have some examples. Chlorous acid, no hydra means it's an oxy acid, which means OUS needs to go to ITE. So we're looking for the chlorite ion. Acid tells me there's H, plus, so I have H. Plus. Chlorite is ClO2 with a minus one charge. Plus one, minus one, balance out. I get HClO2. Chloric acid, ic, comes from eight. So I have the chlorate ion I'm looking for. Acid tells me there's H. Plus. So I write H. Plus. I look up chlorate on my list of polyatomic ions. I find it's ClO3 with a minus one charge. I balance those charges and I get HClO3. Sulfurous acid, again, no hydro tells me it's an oxy acid. Us came from ite, so I'm looking for sulfite. Acid tells me there's an H. So we have H plus, sulfite is SO3 with a two minus charge. Since I have two minus and plus one, I need two of the plus ones to balance out, so I have H2, SO3. And our last example, thiocyanic acid. No hydro tells me, again, it's an oxy acid. Ic came from eight, so I'm looking at the thiocyanate ion. Acid tells me there's H plus. So I have H plus and thiocyanate is SCN minus one. Balance the charges, I get HSCN. So those are some examples. There's a worksheet that goes along with this <coughs> lesson, which has a section with binary naming and formula writing, a section for oxy acid naming and formula, formula writing, a mixed section of both types of acids, and then the back of that sheet has mixed including ionic and covalent compounds for naming and formula writing.